everyone and welcome to today's video and today I'm going to be doing something new at least new for my channel uh, as you can uh, tell from the title we'll be doing something called brand bites and the idea behind this is that I can show you my makeup stash but rather than showing you everything in one go I'm going to take it brand by brand and as long as I have a brand with like multiple items um, then I can sort of talk you through the brand what I think of the brand and um, show you some of the products and link you to any reviews that I might have done in the past. Um, so that's what this video is all about. And today's video will be Maybelline. And Maybelline as a brand is probably one of my favorite drugstore brands. Um, it's just, you know, gut feeling, I guess. When I walk into a store, Maybelline is one of the first brands that I try and check out. Um, they don't necessarily have the most innovative of products but I do find that if I buy a Maybelline product I know what I'm going to get sort of um, so that's also why I have quite a bit of everything here there's a foundation there's eyeshadow there's lip products I've tried many things ranging across the brand so I will be taking you through every single Maybelline product in my stash right now and I think it's cool to start with lip products and I actually have my Maybelline lipsticks in their own designated drawer. I have two of these Maybelline Vivids. I have Hot Plum and Fuchsia Flash. I remember when these came out everybody was really happy about these. These two lipsticks look quite similar to each other in the in the tube but I find that these are actually very different on my lips. I have quite a purple undertone in my lips, so the purple one catches on and looks a lot more purple than this bright pink one does on me. And one thing I'm not a fan of though, when it comes to Maybelline lipsticks, is the smell. It has this like, uh, to me this smells like Play-Doh, but I don't know, it's just, it's not a good smell for a lipstick. If you can get beyond that smell, however, then the, um, I can't remember what these are called, the uh, matte lipsticks by Maybelline are absolutely gorgeous. I purchased four of these when I was in the States last uh, last summer, actually. And um, yeah, I absolutely adore these. Um, I didn't go for the most uh, usual shades, you could say, because I have so many like nudes and reds and all that that I wanted to go for something a little bit different. Um, what I'm wearing on my lips today is Mesmerizing Magenta which is just a great mix between a plum and a red, I find. I also have Fired Up. This is a great uh, pink toned red. I have a burgundy blush, and this is a, this looks almost uh, black in real life. On camera it shows up more red, and that's what it looks like in, uh, re on your lips as well. It's like a really dark red. And I also have Vibrant Violet, which is a purple, and this isn't necessarily something I wear to work, but I just thought it would be fun to try it. In lips, Maybelline also does these Color Drama Velvet Matte Lip Pencils, or Intense Velvet Lip Pencil, and I have these in three different shades, In With Coral, which is a very bright coral, um, Berry Much, which is a very pretty berry shade, actually, and this is Lighted Up, which is a very bright red. It's got a hint of orange and a hint of pink. It's like really right in between. And I absolutely love these, especially in summer when you want something very long lasting that doesn't bleed everywhere and that can't really go wrong if you toss it in your bag and it's really hot outside. I think these are great. Another product that Maybelline is famous for, but not necessarily a uh, lipstick or anything like that, are the Baby Lips Lip Balms. And I've been really enjoying this. This is the Doctor Rescue Lip Balm and this has like a minty smell. And this is all that's left, so um, yeah, this is pretty much gone. Maybelline has also been really into um, coming out with new brow products, and they launched these uh, brow satin pencils along with the Brow Drama eyebrow gel, I believe. I had that, and it went bad, so I had to throw it away, but I absolutely love that as well. So that's up for a repurchase very soon. Um, and this 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 uh, brow satin pencil in dark blonde. I'm not a big fan of the um, like powder end of this, but the pencil in this is actually quite thin, and I think it looks really great on my brows. So uh, yeah, I repurchased this, and it's still in its packaging because I'm currently using up a different brow product. But once that is gone, 
I'll be going back to this one. One product you will hardly ever see me use on my face are eyeliners, liquid liners that is. One of the reasons for that is that I'm not very good at doing eyeliner for one. And two, my eye shape is pretty difficult to get a good winged liner going on. If I do that, half my eye look disappears and then I've like used like six different eyeshadows and all you see is a black stripe. Um, but the thing that I found that really makes my life a little bit easier and that if I want to go for an eyeliner look, um, then uh, Maybelline's, what are these called, Master Precise Liquid Eyeliners are the way to go for me. I've tried everything. I've tried the L'Oreal. I've tried more expensive high-end brands, but this Maybelline one is just perfect. And the reason why they're perfect is because they have this fairly long but not too thin nip, nib, and uh, this is just a, a, a great little product. This is, this is what's been making my life so much easier. If I want to go for a winged liner, this is what I use, and the best thing about it, it comes in black and in brown. One product that I think Maybelline does absolutely right is mascara. This is the Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. My favorite Maybelline mascara has to be the Falsies Flared one, um, but I don't currently have one on hand because I have so many mascaras that I have backed up that I didn't really have any need to repurchase that, but the Rocket Volume Express is what I'm wearing right now as well. It has this really big bristled brush and it has mostly um, like the, it's like a plastic one so that has to be your cup of tea. It is very easy to get very clumpy lashes with this but I find that if you just keep on running the mascara through you can also like pull them apart and make the, make your eyelashes look more fluttery and it does definitely does give a lot more volume. One product that I don't really own a lot of from Maybelline is eyeshadow. In fact, I just have these two little bits here. This is a very random one, and it's very old as well. This is the Expert Wear Mono in Bronze Sunset, and I actually picked this up from a discount store. Um, so it's a very nice golden bronze. I love wearing this in summer. It's like the perfect bronzy almost terra with a terracotta undertone and I find that's very whoop, <laughs> and I find that's very rare so yeah I really like this and then there is the Maybelline the nudes eyeshadow palette I reviewed this on my blog I'm not a fan it's it looks really pretty in the pan but I find that once you start blending these they just blend away it turns into one color and pretty much the only reason why I hung on to it is because there's a few shades in here that I really like that I want to pull in with like other matte or drugstore shadows and then this is a nice product but on its own nah but the eye product from Maybelline are of course their color tattoos I have many more of these I'm just holding up three of them I have on and on bronze pink gold here and uh, black orchid and black orchid is a oops these have obviously been used so this is like a taupey mauve shade that i really really like um so i love wearing these on its own actually these three in particular i like wearing these if i want to do something like super quick and easy just dab it on maybe a little bit of pencil liner and some mascara and you're out the door so especially in summer i like using these because I don't want to wear too much eyeshadow on my eyes then, and that's when I pull these out. They do tend to dry out very quickly, so you do have to make sure that you close them properly and store them upside down. The final Maybelline product category is face, and uh, let's start with some concealers. I have three different concealers by Maybelline. This is the Age Rewind the Eraser Eye in Light, but I also have the uh, Eraser for Dark Circles. Um, this is the brightening shade, I think. Yeah, this is the brightening shade. So it's the pinky one, and I have the concealer one. I have to say that I don't really like this concealer one. I've taken off the sponge because I just found that that just put it everywhere. I've only used this a handful of times, and I'm halfway through it. Um, so this product is just not dispensed in a way that I can deal with it. Whenever I used it, I, it would just smear everywhere, and... I would get way too much product for the area that I want to use it on. If you want to use this for your entire face, that's the amount I got from this one. This brightening shade I like a lot better because you can just dab it onto your under eye. I use it as a corrector before you apply your actual 
concealer and the only area where I really use concealer is on my under eye area and that's it. I try to use a minimum a minimal amount because I do have some fine lines there and if I use too much concealer, no matter how much I set it, no, much, no matter how much I prime it, it is going to crease. So a thin layer of this, a thin layer of concealer and I'm good to go. Okay, so halfway through the video, I realized that I forgot one of the concealers. So um, yeah, I do have one more concealer. I have two concealers by Maybelline. I have the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Uh, this has to be my favorite. It is nice and liquidy. Uh, some people compare this to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I can see why people see that. Uh, say that. Um, I have the NARS one as well, and that is more in a summer color, and I've been using this in the sort of start of winter. Right now it's still a little bit too dark for me um, because right now I'm pretty much at my palest, but in a month time or so I can go back to this one. Um, I also really like this and this is great if you need some extra coverage, some extra sort of cleaning up. I had a little bit of melasma on my cheeks at the end of summer last year and this was able to cover up ver uh, cover that up very very nicely. So yeah, these concealers by Maybelline, not available in Holland, but if you can get your hands on them, they are absolutely fantastic. I only have one Maybelline foundation. If you know me, then you know that foundation isn't really my thing to begin with. And this is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. And I bought this on sale sometime. I can't remember. Um, I bought this to review it for my blog and I haven't really been able to get around to it because I've been trying other foundations that I like more. So to be quite honest with you, this has been sort of sitting at the back of my shelf in the back of my drawer, I have to say, and I'm not really reaching for this again. Um, but I think that I'm gonna have to try this out again to see how, whether I like it and retake some photos for a review on my face because those are now really, really old. Um, but I, st I really have to start trying this. Again, like the Fit Me Concealer, this is now a little bit too dark for me. So I'm gonna have to wait a few weeks before I can start using this again. Last but not least, there is the Master Sculpt uh, in Light Medium Contouring Palette. And I reviewed this together with two other palettes that promised to do pretty much the same thing. Um, right now, when I tried it out, it was a little bit too dark for me. The bronzer was, it was a little too warm. Um, but I'm very, very pale, but I think that come summertime, this is going to be a great contouring palette for me. The highlight isn't super bright and shimmery, so it's a very subtle one. So this is a great everyday contouring palette if it matches your skin tone. All right, so that's it. Those are all the Maybelline products that I have currently in my stash. Um, I really hope you enjoy this type of video. Please let me know in a comment down below if you did. Um, and of course, give it a thumbs up if you like this video as well, because that way I will know whether I should continue doing these videos or not. Uh, please click subscribe if you want to stay tuned and uh, watch more of my videos in the future. I try to do new videos every single week, and I really hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.